Welcome to the 10 worst foods for your nerves. Certain foods are a disaster for nerve health, so today we'll explore which foods to be aware of and alternatives to substitute in. When nerves become damaged, it can lead to serious issues such as chronic pain, numbness, loss of balance, and even blindness, heart disease, and amputation. Nerve health is no joke, and we can't stress enough that it's vital to take proactive steps as early as possible so that you can continue to do the everyday activities we all take for granted, to age gracefully and enjoy life for years to come. It's common complication that comes with type 2 diabetes, which is another reason why it's so important to manage blood sugar. But nerve damage can also occur from other chemicals which feature heavily in the modern diet, and that may be lurking in your cupboard right now without you realizing it. So today we'll explore 10 of the worst foods for nerve health, as well as tips to enjoy your favorite foods while staying on the path of good health. But before we dive in, can you do us a favor and like this video, ring the bell for future notifications, and make sure you subscribe to Diabetics Talk for more practical diabetes information. Plus, stick around to find out how you can get not one, not two, but three free gifts. Also, don't forget to check out exclusive Diabetics Talk merchandise from our store and sign up as a member to get full access to the Food, Health, and You Complete Implementation System documentary and more. Okay, let's get into it. Number 10, Caffeine. Rich in antioxidants, coffee has been associated with improved brain function, increased metabolism, and a reduced risk of certain diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. However, for people with nerve damage or those at risk of developing nerve problems, it's important to be cautious about caffeine. Caffeine, the primary active ingredient in coffee, it is a natural stimulant that affects the central nervous system. It works by blocking the neurotransmitter adenosine, which is responsible for promoting relaxation and sleepiness. As a result, the levels of the other neurotransmitters, such as dopamine and nepinephrine, are increased, leading to enhanced alertness and concentration. While these effects are beneficial for many, they may not be ideal for people at risk of nerve damage. Caffeine has been linked to exacerbating nerve damage in several ways. Firstly, caffeine increases the release of cortisol, which elevates blood pressure and, over time, may contribute to nerve damage. High blood pressure damages blood vessels that supply nerves, impairing their ability to transmit signals properly. Secondly, caffeine stimulates excitatory neurotransmitters, which are responsible for transmitting pain signals. For people with nerve damage or neuropathy, this heightened sensitivity to pain can be problematic. Additionally, caffeine can interfere with sleep quality and quantity, which is essential for the repair and regeneration of nerve cells. While moderate caffeine intake early in the day may not pose a significant risk for most people, those with nerve damage or at risk of developing neuropathy should exercise caution. Switching to decaf may be a wise choice. Number 9. Ultra Processed Foods Ultra-processed foods have been linked to nerve damage in several scientific studies. One of the latest studies, published in 2023 in the journal Nature, found that consumption of ultra-processed foods was strongly associated with the central nervous system demyelination. The research found that one serving per day of ultra-processed food equated to an 8% increased risk of central nervous system demyelination. Here we're talking about things like packaged snacks like chips and cookies, instant noodles and soups, pre-packaged sauces and salad dressings, reconstituted meat products like chicken nuggets and fish sticks, artificially flavored cheese and yogurt, and processed meats, essentially anything that is clearly ultra-processed. 
There are a number of reasons why these foods are so bad. For example, processed meats such as hot dogs and deli meats often contain high amounts of sodium, preservatives, and additives like nitrates. These substances trigger inflammation, impair blood flow, and disrupt the normal functioning of the nervous system. In addition, ultra-processed foods are typically low in essential nutrients, which are crucial for maintaining nerve health. Essentially, you're not only getting processed food, you're also getting a concoction of chemicals that are used to flavor, enhance, or extend the shelf life of food rather than real food that's in its natural form. To reduce the risk of nerve damage, opt for healthier alternatives. Prepare meals at home using fresh, whole ingredients. While this may be less convenient than grabbing pre-made meals from the grocery store, the effort will pay off a thousand times over in terms of long-term health. Here's a pro tip. Cook large meals and freeze extra portions. It's a great way to eat well, take advantage of seasonal produce, and save time in the long run. Likewise, while we don't necessarily recommend cookies or muffins, you're far better off making them yourself so that you know what ingredients are going in and you're not eating chemicals that are designed to make food last for months on the grocery store shelf. Plus, making your own food allows you to swap in healthier ingredients, further supporting your body to function well. Number eight, high sodium foods. Sodium plays a crucial role in nerve impulses and muscle contractions. We need a certain amount of sodium. However, excessive sodium is linked to high blood pressure, which as we discussed, damages the blood vessels that supply nerves. Additionally, a high sodium diet may exacerbate inflammation in the body. Inflammation can directly damage nerve cells and contribute to the development of neuropathy. The recommended daily intake of sodium is 1500 milligrams for most adults with a maximum of 2300 milligrams. Now, salt is made up of sodium and chloride with about a 40 to 60 ratio, but this changes depending on the type of salt. For example, 1,500 milligrams of sodium equals around half a teaspoon of fine iodized table salt, but around a teaspoon of coarse sea salt. Check out the label of your salt to verify, and remember that this includes all the salt contained in everything you eat, which is going to skyrocket if you're eating processed foods. So it's crucial to be aware of your sodium intake and to find alternative ways to flavor foods without salt. And fortunately, we have an excellent ally in the form of spices. Spices are extremely valuable for reducing salt while enhancing enhancing flavor and boosting health. Cloves, for example, combat oxidative stress and protect nerve cells from damage. Ginger has potent anti-inflammatory effects, which can alleviate nerve pain, and cinnamon has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and blood sugar balance, which is important for nerve health and good health in general. By incorporating spices into your meals, not only can you reduce the risk of nerve damage associated with high salt consumption, but also reap the enormous benefits these spices provide. Number seven, certain fish. Some fish can contribute to nerve damage due to high levels of mercury and other contaminants, such as polychlorinated biphenyls or PCBs. Mercury is a toxic heavy metal that accumulates in fish as they consume smaller organisms in the food chain. When we eat fish with high mercury levels, it can lead to mercury poisoning, which damages the brain and nervous system. PCBs, on the other hand, are industrial chemicals that contaminate the oceans. Some of the fish with the highest mercury levels include shark, swordfish, king mackerel, and tilefish. It's best to avoid these fish. In terms of PCB contamination, farmed fish are generally more likely to have higher levels of these chemicals compared to wild-caught fish as well as fish caught in certain industrial areas of the world. Opt for fish that are lower in contaminants, such as salmon, sardines, trout, and anchovies. 
These are also rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which support brain health, reduce inflammation, and promote heart health. And look for wild-caught varieties whenever possible, as they typically have less contaminants and a better nutritional profile compared to farmed fish. Number six, gluten. Gluten is a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye. It can be harmful to nerves, particularly for people with diabetes or other health conditions such as celiac disease or gluten sensitivity. Gluten can trigger an autoimmune response, leading to inflammation and damage into the small intestine. This damage impairs nutrient absorption, including essential nutrients needed for nerve health like vitamin B12 and magnesium. Over time, these nutrient deficiencies contribute to nerve damage or exacerbate existing issues such as diabetic neuropathy. Now, before we get into number five, how about those free gifts? Discover an entire world of diabetes-fighting foods with our new book, 10 Incredible Foods That Reduce Blood Sugar. Plus, you'll discover the real reason why type 2 diabetes, obesity, and heart disease are increasing at an alarming rate. And find out what really works when it comes to preventing these illnesses by watching our free diabetes fighting documentary. Plus, get a free recipe book, Amazing Alternatives to Rice, Pasta, and Bread, which contains over 50 delicious and easy to prepare recipes that the whole family will love. These gifts are free and waiting for you to grab them in the description box below. Now back to our video. Number five, alcohol. Excessive alcohol has a direct toxic effect on nerve cells, leading to dysfunction or cell death. Alcohol also interferes with the absorption and metabolism of essential nutrients, such as thiamine or vitamin B1, which are vital for nerve function. Prolonged deficiencies can result in conditions like alcoholic neuropathy, characterized by pain, weakness, and tingling sensations in the limbs. Moreover, alcohol can cause liver damage, altering the body's ability to detoxify harmful substances. So as you can see, limiting or completely avoiding alcohol can make a huge difference for nerve health. Number four, refined carbohydrates. Refined carbohydrates such as white bread, white rice, and breakfast cereals are a disaster for health. While anyone concerned about diabetes needs to be mindful of carbohydrates in general, refined carbs are particularly nefarious. Refined carbs are stripped of their fiber, resulting in foods with high glycemic index, thus causing rapid blood sugar spikes after eating. These spikes cause damage to blood vessels, leading to neuropathy over time. Moreover, refined carbs trigger inflammation and oxidative stress, both of which increase nerve damage and contribute to other health problems. As part of a diabetic-friendly or preventative diet, it's essential to reduce the intake of refined carbs and replace them with healthier options. Some easy ways to do this include replacing white bread with a whole grain or low carb option like pumpkin or almond flour bread. Swap out white rice for brown rice or quinoa or cauliflower rice and experiment with low carb snacks. We have a delicious options in our other videos. Number three, deep fried foods. Deep fried foods are typically high in unhealthy fats, which we'll get into in just a moment, but fried foods also contain advanced glycation end products or AGEs. Advanced glycation end products are harmful compounds formed when proteins or fats react with sugars during high temperature cooking processes such as frying. AGEs in fried foods are particularly bad for health because they flood the system with inflammation and free radicals. A healthy body can manage a small level of AGEs, but if there's excessive levels of AGEs in tissue due to regular consumption or existing organ damage, as can happen with conditions like diabetes, then they can accumulate and become pathogenic. Over time, accumulated AGEs can significantly accelerate various health 
issues, including nerve damage, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and other disorders. So make deep fried foods a strictly occasional treat. After all, there are plenty of healthier choices that satisfy cravings. Instead of deep frying, try baking or grilling or poaching. For instance, you can make delicious oven-baked sweet potato fries or grilled chicken that's just as tasty but much healthier than deep fried options. Number two, trans fats. Yes, we mentioned fats alongside fried foods, but trans fats truly deserve their own section. Trans fats are awful for the body and should be avoided at all costs. They not only damage nerve health by severely increasing inflammation and oxidative stress, but they also skyrocket risk for heart disease, stroke, and a number of other diseases. A study published in The Lancet found that consuming trans fats on a daily basis was associated with a 50% increased risk of heart disease compared to those who only ate it once a month. Also called partially hydrogenated oil, trans fats have been banned in some countries, although enforcing the ban seems to be easier said than done. As well as being used in deep fried foods, trans fats can be found in margarine, baked goods like cookies, pastries and pie crusts, crackers, chips, microwave popcorn, frozen pizzas and frozen dinners, as well as non-dairy creamers. So always check the nutritional labels and ingredient lists on packaged foods to ensure that you are avoiding products containing trans fats and look out for the words partially hydrogenated fat as well. And that brings us to number one, refined sugar. Refined sugar takes the number one spot and for a good reason. Its detrimental impact cannot be overstated. Refined sugar triggers inflammation, oxidative stress, glycation, and impaired insulin signaling, interrupting the function of a multitude of processes in the body, leading to nerve damage and other diseases. The addictive nature of refined sugar makes it even more dangerous. Sugary foods and drinks have become so normalized in society that it's easy to overlook the significant damage they cause. Scientific studies have consistently shown the link between high sugar consumption and a range of health problems, including nerve damage, diabetes, obesity, tooth decay, cardiovascular disease, and much more. And it's not only about cutting sugar from your coffee, refined sugar lurks in many packaged foods, which is why it's crucial to read labels and prepare homemade meals. If you're craving a sweet treat, opt for dark chocolate with 75% cocoa or more. Not only does it satisfy your sweet tooth, but it also has a good boost of antioxidants. Just avoid chocolate with added sugar. Another smart swap is choosing whole fruits over fruit juice. Whole fruits contain fiber and essential nutrients that provide numerous health benefits, unlike fruit juice, which has often just added sugar and lacks fiber. The natural sugar in fruit when consumed in moderation is a far better option than refined sugar found in sodas or processed snacks. So there you have it, the 10 worst foods for your nerves. Number 10, caffeine. Number nine, ultra processed foods. Number eight, high sodium foods. Number seven, certain fish. Number six, gluten. Number five, alcohol. Number four, refined carbohydrates. Number three, deep fried foods. Number two, trans fats. And number one, refined sugar. Limiting or avoiding these foods is crucial for taking care of your nerves and preventing a domino effect of sickness that ruins far too many lives. We hope you found this information and tips useful. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or comments or tips to share with others in the community. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button. 